दादाजी अश्विन जी एन एंजल ऑफ गॉड आई हैव द फॉर्च्यून ऑफ मीटिंग हिम मेनी टाइम्स इन द आश्रम इन पुणे एंड ऑल्सो इन सम प्लेसेज वेर वी ऑल मेट टूगेदर फॉर स्पिरिचुअल प्रोग्राम्स जिस बींग इन हिज प्रेजेंस वुड नॉट फील लाइक टॉकिंग वुड नॉट फील लाइक स्पीकिंग बिकॉज ही वॉज सच अ साइलेंट माइंड such a silent mind still tranquil that in his presence the mind would become still and i would just sit next to him just feeling his energy his purity his vibrations and one day he just looked at me and he said do you want to ask something i really had no question on my mind that time but because he asked i just looked at him and i said dadachi what is spirituality for you and he smiled and he said humility and i was waiting and i nodded and i thought i would get a very nice profound answer and he just smiled and he said humility i said ha huh? han ji and he said no that's it only humility one word gave an essence of everything complete spirituality in a one word essence humility and humility was not just his answer humility is who he was his personality defined humility his drishti his way of looking his way of speaking his every action his body language his vibrations reflected only one word humility and which means he was an embodiment of everything we study we learn we read we share he was living that an angel of god physically not with us today but as a vibration as a blessing as an angel was always with us and will always continue to be with us and guide us as we all move forward on our journeys of a spiritual life some of the most memorable events in my life has been my meetings with dada vaswani it was the sheer grace of the lord that first got me in contact with dada the first impression you get when you meet dada is here is a person who has a divine halo around him who is always willing to share his love smiling kind and gentle Dada was a person who would always give out something to his devotees and not expect anything in return. I still remember very clearly at his centenary celebrations just a few weeks before he left his body of how alert he was and how again happy and smiling face that he had. Dada had an incredible memory. I am surprised that he met thousands of people, yet he could clearly recall what your last conversation with him was. What I find the most endearing about him is his simple but deep messages. I often read what he has written and hear his voice. and to dada may not be physically with us anymore his uh, sermons his writings are always there to guide us he was truly a saint and all of us who came in contact with him are so blessed and grateful that we could do that
Hare Krishna. My experience with revered Dadavaswaniji is one of love and gratitude. Although he was a world spiritual leader, an empowered orator, a renowned author, and the leader of many incredible projects of compassion. Whenever we were together, he was so genuinely humble, gracious, and so very kind. And I am sure anyone or everyone who has connected with Dadavasvani has this experience. His compassion melts my heart and his love fills my heart with love for him and for Krishna. It is said, water which moves slowly and quietly often cuts the deepest grooves over time. Our beloved Dada J.P. Vaswani was an extraordinary individual who has left behind an indelible mark in the nation's spiritual journey. From a very young age, Dada Vaswani has symbolized simplicity, humility, determination, love, dedication, and service to mankind. Somebody who never thought about himself. Dada Vaswani had an indelible impact on everybody whom he would meet. And I will never forget the warm words of encouragement, the love and affection he showered on me, his blessings to encourage me to serve people, serve society. In fact, uh, I still remember very fondly, he gave me a small mantra, Deen Bandhu Deena Nath Meri Dori and in every moment when I felt I needed spiritual support, I needed Dada by my side, I would always recall his words, Deen Bandhu Deena Nath Meri Dori Tere Haat. I met him several times, but I cannot forget meeting him with the Honorable Prime Minister Sri Narendra Modi sometime in 2013. When Dada Vaswani really encouraged the Honorable Prime Minister to serve society, to devote himself in the good work that he was doing and lead the nation to greater heights. Dada Vaswani will always remain in our hearts. Persons like him will always continue to guide and inspire all of us. He will always be present in my life and I hope he will continue to bless me bless my work, continue to guide me in my own 
small contribution to Mother India. My first meeting with Dada altered my life. I, uh, I found a different direction. I found humility. I found simplicity. And I found joy and internal happiness. It all happened in a, in a very, very simple meeting. I went there and suddenly I, I felt a calmness inside of me. Then one fine day I get a call that uh, he has requested for me to do an interview of, for, of his and I said great and I was driving all the way to the NCPA apartments at Nariman Point and I just called up uh, the person who he was living with and he said so what's the subject what what kind of interview I want to prepare something see and the subject was vegetarianism said to myself, am I in trouble? I am the wrong person. So I said, please, I just, I think I'm running into a little bit of panic. I started wiping my sweat. And I said, please tell Dada that with folded hands that I'm the wrong person. I'm not a vegetarian. How am I supposed to? So he said, no, no, he knows. He's saying that, you know, that uh, you'll give a different perspective. And it completely blew my mind that he did not think of me as a lesser human being. But what, when I told him this, he's saying, see, you will not be a lesser human being. But probably if you turn to vegetarianism, you will be a better human being. And there's always hope. And I always think of Dada that how is that smile come out so truthfully? Because he's not acting. If you can achieve that in real life or on screen, then you are a blessed person. Find truth. Find truth in whatever you do. Find truth in life. Find truth in your intentions. Find truth when you're helping people. Do not help people uh, if there is something in it for you. Some ulterior motive. Just find the truth. And if you can do it humbly, you're a happier person. Hari Om. Every saint has his Swabhava and his Prabhava. Swabhava means nature and Prabhava means influence. The same is true with regards to our revered Dada. And if you come in contact with such a saint, even for a short time, you can experience both of these. When I came in contact with uh, Dada, what I saw as his Sobhav, that he was able to drench his visitor with his spontaneous, genuine love and his smile. And the influence and prabhav was that visitor became his forever. And that's what happened to me also. Even though I have not lived with him for a long time, only few times I have met him at different places, but the experience was same and the effect influence is permanent. I have read his biography, some of his books, and I keep reading his quotes also. And by that I come to know more and more about him and also how much deep impression he has left on my mind. One particular thing 
I would like to tell that he has said one mantra of eight words. I am not alone. God is with me. This has imprinted on my mind quite deeply. And whenever I have met someone going through some difficult time, I said, please chant this mantra and remember the meaning. And I am very happy to tell you that has, that mantra has really made great difference in the life of that person. Now, in one word or one sentence, I would like to say, my feelings and thoughts. When I think of Dada, what comes to my mind is that his life only confirms whatever is said by all scriptures as the characteristics of a man of realization. I offer my reverential homage to him and invoke his blessings on me and all others. Thank you. Hari Om.